Hello, lovers. Um, Avi, this is chapter five of All Falls Down. And I swear, every time I say All Falls Down, I think of Nicki Minaj's All Things Go, baby. And I just want to sing that song to y'all. But then I don't have to be all down. I got time to be arguing with y'all about if I could sing or not, child. Because, bitch, I know I ain't the best singer of America, but bitch. You're not going to go. For me, that is, honey. <sighs> I, can't, I can't stand being in that building any longer. Oh, I couldn't stand being in that lo building any longer. Um, Every time I step foot in there, all the things, of, all the feelings of being unwanted and hated came rushing back. So I left. I hated snapping on Rose that way. She didn't deserve that. She was just trying to help me. I just couldn't handle it. I didn't know what it felt like to <clears throat> to be cared about. Not by anyone other than some stupid boy. I didn't deserve anyone's care or attention. Not after what happened with Krista. What happened with Krista, girl? Who the hell Krista be? Three years ago, I lived with the Allen family. I was 14 and still had faith that one day I would have a family. They were the closest I'd ever come to that. A real family. All right, girl. Let's see what's what's popping. What, what happened with Krista? What you do to Krista, bitch? <clears throat> the Allens lived in a cute little house in the suburbs of Maine. Their house is always what I had imagined when I pictured the type of house I would live in with a family. Hey, Coop. Close this for me. Sharon Allen was the spitting image of... A 50s housewife. Now why you bust your little ass up in here? <laughs> she, she was a stay at home mom. And was pretty much the perfect. In every way imaginable. She cooked clean. And was exactly what every foster kid wanted for a mom. Henry Allen. On the other hand. Was a hard working yet kind business man. He was a bit of a workaholic. But always made it home in time for dinner. He was kind, made goofy dad jokes, and was a really, was a really generally happy person. They also had a daughter, Krista Allen. Krista looked like a hood rat, hood rat, hooch mama. Okay, my bad, y'all. Krista was 19 years old, incredibly beautiful, and kind of a badass. I absolutely idolized her. Uh, together, they were the perfect family. It was all I ever wanted. And I finally had it. Until six months later when I came crashing down. When it all came crashing down. Oh, God damn, baby. What happened, girl? Did y'all fight? <clears throat> Although I idolized Krista, she wasn't exactly too fond of me. She constantly picked on me and made sure I knew that I was just a foster kid and nothing else. Okay, girl. Mom says dinner is ready. Stop calling her mom. She's not your mother. That's what she told me to call her, Krista. It's been six months. Why do you still hate me so much? That doesn't really matter anymore. You'll be gone soon anyway. What does that mean? Oh my, what the fuck, man? I swear, my phone blows up as soon as I start recording. I found out what it meant the next morning. Stand up and put your hands where you can see where we can see them. Now, Dove Kennedy. What the fuck? <laughs> Bitch, what? Bitch, what happened? Turns out that while I was peacefully sleeping in my bed all night, Krista had robbed a local gas station. Or at least I think it was Krista or someone she had hired. They found they had the way they had left my DNA in my cell phone and my favorite necklace at the crime scene. And my fingerprints were on the gun she used. Still have no idea how she did that. Krista had framed me for armed robbery. What? I spent six months in juvie. In the juvie, juvenile detention center. Where I was eventually let out early for good behavior. 
I went straight to a group home. The Allens wanted nothing to do with me. Because who want a lying, stealing, juvenile, delinquent of a daughter? <laughs> Little did they know they they had one biologically. Bitch, I would have got out of jail, bitch, and beat the fuck out that girl. Bitch, you don't send nobody to jail, bitch, because you jealous. Bitch, I'd have beat the fuck out that girl, okay? Nobody believed my side of the story. Nobody except Carla. Carol. Um, after that, I lost all hope that I would ever find a family. That I would ever have people in my life that truly cared about me. The group home that I was sent to after juvenile was the last straw for me. I ran away, ran into Jordan at the bar, moved with him, and started the frantic search for my mother. Then things went bad with Jordan. I ran back to Maine. That was the closest thing I ever had to a home. I lived with a few crackheads and worked as a waitress to support myself. Eventually, um, Carol found me and hauled my ass to North Philly. He and here we are. I'm working in the middle of nowhere, contemplating. I'm walking in the middle of nowhere, contemplating if I should run again. I'm so sick of running. I really need to change out of this uniform. What should I wear? Let's see what number one be here in life, y'all. Mm, try something different, girl. Uh, she, uh, ooh. Mm -mm. Okay, I can, I, can, I can get with that. Okay, y'all, this damn charger keep pulling out. This works. It's not like I have a lot to choose from anyway. All right. Dove. Oh, girl. Dove, are you here? Oh, what the fuck do you want, girl? I was so worried that you wouldn't be here. Where would I go? I don't know. I was just afraid that you were going to run again. Um, let's just reassure her right now. I'm here, aren't I? You've got nothing to worry about, Rose. I don't exactly have anywhere better to be. I'm sorry I threw you under the bus back there with Carol. <laughs> I just really want uh, this to work between us. Thanks, Rose. Don't worry about it. Where are you going? Ow. We're back to this. I thought we were having, <laughs> we thought we were having a moment. We did, and now it's over. I'll be back tonight. <laughs> you cold? I had nowhere better to go, so I headed to the diner. I was hoping yeah. Sierra was there so I could talk to someone. I, I... <sighs> what are we doing? What are you doing here? You're not scheduled tonight. I know. I just wanted to come by and talk. I would love to, but we're so swamped today. Um, I can pick up a ship if you need me to. I think you have something else you need to uh, something else you need to take care of. And what is that, girl? Right. What the hell? What are you talking about? Oh, you, girl. Hey, ladies. This episode. I'll let you two chat. Oh, God. He is so irritating. I was hoping I would find you here. Why are you here, stalker? What do you want, Sean? Okay, I can see we're, not, we're still not over the whole Jill incident. I can't believe that he still thinks I'm upset about Jill. You can't stay mad at me forever, Dub. Bitch, but I can, girl. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Dub. <laughs> he was right. I couldn't stay mad at him forever, at least not to his face. Um, I need to find out more about his father and why he was spying on me. You're right. Who could resist that handsome smile? Lies, bitch. Lies. <laughs> How do you feel about going to dinner with me? Um... Uh, Yeah, I'm not sure that's a, such a great idea. Come on, I promise we'll have a, a great time. Uh, I, I have a lot of homework. I know Miss Dixon did already assign us the research paper. I'll pay for everything. Well, <laughs> you were going to do that anyway. Stop it. 
So is that a yes? Oh, back up. Sure. Down. I'd love to have dinner. Oh, whoa. Okay. Great. Come with me. Another perfect place. Is this the Grey Hotel? You know this place? I thought you were new here. <laughs> I am. I've just been here before. Should we go in? Aren't we a little underdressed? Isn't this place really fancy? No, we're okay. I made a special a special reservation. Go. Huh, you rented out the entire balcony for just one dinner with me? Will you believe me if I said I knew the owner of this place? Well, um, you knew Killian, so I would have to guess that you would also know his dad. I totally forgot you came to my party with Killian. And here I was trying to impress you that I knew the owner and you're cozy up with the owner's son. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, it's not getting off to a great start, is it? Um, insulting me and, um, and the people I hang out with isn't exactly a superb way to start out anything. We'll start anything out. Fresh start? I will love that. Um, ask him about his family. Nobody give a shit about Jill. So, Sean, what's the family like? I've been to your house. I'm guessing you've got, uh, got... To have a big party, oh, a, a pretty big family to fill up that one. Okay. Actually, it's just me and my dad. My mom died when I was a baby. Oh, I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. It was a long time ago. What's your dad like? Uh, there's not much to tell about him. Well, what does he have? Well, what does he do for a living? Let's stop talking about me and talk about you. <laughs> I want to learn more about you. Damn it, push him too far. <laughs> What's your family like, Duff? Like he doesn't already know, he has definitely been through my file at school. school. This isn't going to work like I wanted, so he needs to know that I know about his father's plan. Maybe I can use guilt him. I can, maybe I can use, oh, shit. I don't know. Cut the crap, Sean. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard you and Jill talking about me at your party the other night. Mm-hmm. It was really sweet that you chose to talk about me during your makeout session. It made me feel so special. What did you hear? Enough to know that you're just hanging out with me because your father told you to. <laughs> I guess you should start paying attention to your surroundings when you're gossiping about others. It was a rookie mistake, Axton. It's not as bad as you think of. Time to activate the guilt. Really? <laughs> love this girl she's an ass honey really because i think it was i think it was you trying to get on your father's good side by manipulating the poor foster kid into being your friend all you could so oh wait all so you could spy on her it's not like that though i just can't believe i thought someone like you actually wanted to be my friend <laughs> maybe the fake tears and symbols are a little too much <laughs> He wanted me to spy on you so he could get information on you. What kind of information? He wanted to know more about your past, your, your past families, past crimes, who your biological parents were. What did he want with all that? Most of your file is sealed off by the state and he wanted to know more about you. <sighs> he wants to make sure that all of his students come from good backgrounds with high chances of doing something valuable with their lives. It's why the school is so exclusive. I still don't even understand how or why he let you in. All this information was making my head hurt. I had no idea my file was sealed off by the state, bitch. Why would it be sealed off? It's not like there's anything that terrible in there. Just one juvie stay in a billion foster homes. <laughs> no one's making sense. None of this is making sense. If Headmaster Charles has the power to keep me out of Ridgeway, why did he let me in in the first place? You're not mad at me, are you? I'm not mad, Sean. 
Truth is, I don't even know you enough to care. It's not exactly true. For some reason, I cared more about him than I normally would. I really thought for a second he wanted to be my friend, but he was just using me to get on daddy's good side. If it makes you feel any better, I said no at first. <laughs> Why did you change your mind? I met you. What does that mean? The second I met you, I knew I had to know more about you. We were You were breathtakingly beautiful with your dark hair and your giant eyes. Because <laughs> that was a compliment. Bitch, you got huge eyes. Okay, girl. You intrigued me, duh. And if the only way to learn more about you was ups ups upsetting Jill, uh, well, without upsetting Jill, was to do it for my father, then that's what I was going to do. Are you going to say anything? What do you want me to say, Sean? I'm totally okay with you using me if you did it because you wanted to get to know me. Well, it sounds stupid when you say it out loud. I just need some time to think. I understand. Will you at least let me drive you home? Sure. And there go the sexy one. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Dove. The way Killian face lit up when he saw me made my heart melt a little bit. He was genuinely happy to see me. Hey, Killian. His smile instantly vanished when he saw Sean standing next to me. All of a sudden, they were in some staring contest like they were children on the playground fighting over the last toy. We should go, Sean. It's getting late. Yeah, let's go. He didn't break his stare for with Killian. Dove, can I talk to you for a Well, can I talk to you a second? Alone. <laughs> Quite the power move, Kale. <laughs> I'll meet you outside, Sean. What did you want to talk about? I just want to say I had a really nice time with you the other night. Yeah, so did I. I was wondering if you wanted to do it again sometime. Hang out on the rooftop? We can do that or we can go to a movie or dinner. Are you asking me out on a date, Killian? Yeah, I guess I am. I'm not really looking for someone to date right now. I didn't have time for any drama right now. Oh, girl. I was too focused on all the other craziness in my life right now. How was I supposed to have a steady relationship when I wasn't even sure if I was staying in Philly? Girl, he's cute. Any day Rose could decide that, could decide she doesn't want me and throw me out. I'd be sh shipped off to another city and ripped from any one I cared about. I wouldn't do that. Everyone was better off if I stayed detached and emotionless. Then what's this then with the shine? It was nothing. I was lying. I felt something when I saw Sean. Well, I felt something when I was with Sean. Something I that I wasn't ready to admit yet. Not even to myself. What do you say we hang out just as friends? Just as friends, you say? I think I can handle that. <laughs> I gave Killian my number and he told me to text and told him to text me when he wanted to hang out. Then I went to go, I went out to go find Sean stinking ass. So I don't really like Sean at all. Cool. Yeah. 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 He really um, not been driving. He's like y'all <laughs> just standing up. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, how long have you known Killian Gray? What the fuck? We met at the diner on my first day here. You two seem pretty cozy for only meeting a few days ago. <laughs> Girl, you jealous? <laughs> I've known you for a few days and you've already backstabbed me. Point taken. <laughs> I just think you need to be careful around him. He's got a pretty nasty reputation, especially with girls. Kimmy mentioned his reputation, but it didn't seem like a big deal. Hearing it for Sean, you would think that Killian was the devil himself. <laughs> this is hilarious, bro. They are so crazy. I didn't want to talk about it. I don't. I didn't want to talk anymore about Killian, about Sean, about anyone. Shit. I just wanted to go to Rose and sleep off this terrible day. Cell phone dings, honey. It's Jordan. I need to see you now. I'm gonna say, who the hell is Jordan? Okay, I know who Jordan is, child. 
I'm going to need you to take one tiny stop. Well, to make one tiny stop. To be continued. All right, people, that was 20 minutes. That was a good little minute, you know. It was a good little time. It was kind of boring. But whatever, girl. See y'all next time. See y'all.